Noah and Elijah's fantastic heroic stories. Episode 3, The Secret of the Old Mine. One sunny Saturday morning, Elijah and Noah were in the park enjoying the fresh air. They had brought a picnic and were talking about their recent adventures. Do you remember how we saved the clock tower? Elijah asked with a laugh. Sure, that was really exciting, Noah replied, when suddenly Elijah's bracelet started to light up. Oh no, my bracelet lights up, but yours doesn't, remarked Elijah. I left my bracelet at home, Noah shouted. We have to get it before we go on our next adventure. No problem, said Elijah, taking Noah on his shoulders. Hold on tight. Elijah activated his bracelet, and pulleys flipped out from under his legs from his suit. Ready for a speedy ride? he asked with a grin. Always ready, Noah replied, and they sped off. Elijah moved through the park at high speed. The wheels under his legs whirred as they sped across the asphalt. They were going so fast that the wind whistled in their hair, and the trees passed by as nothing more than green streaks. Wow, that's incredible, exclaimed Noah enthusiastically. But when they took a tight bend, Elijah briefly lost his balance. Watch out, Noah shouted as they almost crashed into a lamppost. Elijah made a daring, swerving movement and just managed to avoid the obstacle. That was close, gasped Elijah, but they drove on. They passed a busy marketplace. Elijah had to break abruptly to avoid a little boy with an ice cream. Watch out, shouted Noah as they almost crashed into a fruit stall. Elijah made a sharp turn and got them safely past the stall. That was close, Elijah said with relief. But we almost made it. They reached Noah's house, and Noah jumped off Elijah's shoulders. I'll be right back, he shouted and ran into the house. He quickly returned with his bracelet. Ready for the next adventure, he said, tapping the glowing icon. The familiar map of the city appeared before their eyes. A dot near an old abandoned mine glowed red. The old mine? Noah asked, puzzled. What could be going on there? Maybe someone's in trouble, Elijah said firmly. We should find out. The two friends made their way to the old mine. When they arrived, they saw that the entrance to the mine had partially collapsed. Some workers were standing in front of it, worried. We were securing the mine, but there was a collapse, explained one of the workers. A few of our colleagues are still in there and we don't know how to get them out. We have to help, Elijah said firmly. Noah nodded. Let's activate our superpowers. Elijah and Noah pressed on their bracelets and transformed into their superhero forms. Elijah now wore a ruggedized hazmat suit, and Noah looked like a professional engineer with a high-tech toolbox. We need to find out where the trapped people are first, Elijah said. Noah opened his toolbox and various devices popped out. Let's use the scanner, said the wrench that was also in the box. It can show us where the people are. Noah activated the scanner and held it up to the entrance of the mine. Dots appeared on a screen showing the positions of the trapped workers. They're about 50 meters in, Noah said. We need to clear the way. Let's get started, Elijah said. I'll use my strength to move the rubble. Elijah let his hands grow larger and began to push the heavy stones aside. Noah used his tools to stabilize the structure and prevent further collapses. Suddenly, they heard a loud crash. Another part of the mine was threatening to collapse. We have to be quick, Elijah shouted. Wait, said Noah. Maybe we can stabilize the rubble from the inside. I have a device that can reinforce the walls. Noah pulled out a special tool from his box that looked like a cross between a drill and a wrench. This will support the walls while we keep working the wrench explained. Elijah and Noah continued to work tirelessly while simultaneously stabilizing the walls and clearing away the debris. After a while, they heard voices. Up ahead, shouted Elijah. I can hear them. They worked even faster and finally reached the trapped workers. We'll get you out of here, Noah said reassuringly. Thanks a lot, guys, said one of the workers with relief. 
We didn't know if we'd make it. We have to go back carefully, Elijah said. The path isn't completely safe yet. Noah and Elijah carefully led the workers through the cleared tunnel. Thanks to Noah's stabilization technique and Elijah's strength, they managed to get out safely. When they reached the exit, the other workers cheered. You saved us, they shouted gratefully. We're glad we could help, Elijah said modestly. Yes, and all thanks to our great tools and teamwork, Noah added. But suddenly, Noah's scanner began to flicker and no longer displayed anything. What's wrong? Noah asked worriedly. It must be an interference signal, said the wrench. We need to find the signal and disable it before we can continue. Elijah and Noah followed the scanner signal deeper into the mine. They came across a strange device hidden in a corner, humming heavily. That must be the jammer, said Noah. But how do we deactivate it? Let me do it, Elijah said, enlarging his hands to encircle the device. With a firm tug, he pulled it out of the wall and deactivated it. Well done, said the wrench. Now the scanner should work again. Noah checked the scanner and saw that the remaining workers were now clearly displayed. We need to get them out quickly before there are any more collapses, Noah said. Elijah and Noah returned to the workers and led them safely outside. When they reached the exit, the other workers cheered. You saved us, they shouted gratefully. We're glad we could help, Elijah said modestly. Yes, and all thanks to our great tools and teamwork, Noah added. The workers thanked them once again and told them how important the old mine was for the town. It's not just a mine, explained one of the older workers. It contains rare minerals that are used for many inventions and technologies. That means that the safety of the mine is very important, Noah said thoughtfully. Exactly, replied the worker, and thanks to you, we can now make sure it stays safe. Elijah and Noah smiled proudly. They knew that they had not only saved the workers, but had also done something important for the entire city. We're a great team, Elijah said proudly. And there's still so much to discover, Noah added. The two friends headed home, eager to see what their next adventure would bring. They knew they would always be ready when their bracelets lit up again, and a new adventure called.